What is up you guys? Welcome back. Steve here and welcome to the video. In today's adventure, me and my friend Simone, we're out here back on the beautiful Snake River in Washington State. Plan today is going to be to camp overnight. We're going to enjoy this little beautiful canyon. We're going to try and catch some fish, do a catch and cook for you guys. Come along. What's this bud? We don't have a particular fish in mind today, guys. The plan is to bottom fish for whatever bites. If that doesn't work, we have some other type of gear fishing setups with us, so we'll try that. But we just want to catch some fish, do a cooking catch, and just kind of enjoy the outdoors out here. You got the worms and whatnot? All right. Come on, Rams. Oh yeah. Right you guys, let's talk about the setup I'm using real quick. If you guys can tell right here, I basically got a sinker right here. I'm gonna be using a two ounce sinker. You don't necessarily have to do this one, but that's the one that's already on my setup, so that's the one I'm gonna use. Then right here, you guys can see I have two hooks coming off. So basically, the idea is this is gonna sit in the bottom with my weight suspended. I'm just running 12 pound test line. Let's see what bites. And for bait, we're just using worms today. This is gonna be fun. I have maybe like a four inch leader tied to a size 10. Oh, I just gotta cast it. But first, I need to cast. Where's your stick, boy? Oh, shit. Where's your stick? Oh, right here. I forgot I was going to re-spool this whole rod. He knows what this means. Oh, yep. Come on, buddy. Got him. Fish on. <laughs> I think he was on there forever. First cast with the night crawler. Feels like a pea mouth. <laughs> Good old pea mouth. There we go, That's Steve. Good. There's one. Like him, Remy? Alrighty, awesome. folks. That's right there. This is Good old Snake River, man. When you throw a night crawler out, it's almost like you Guaranteed. can't count your odds out. Fish on again, Steve. I was just talking to my wife. He's hooking even up. Put this rod down without these pea mouth hammering it. Uh, I was gonna put that guy on a stringer, but his buddy said no. That's awesome. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> There's another one right there. Got him. <laughs> pea mouth slay fest. This guy's a fighter. Fighting a little bit better. They fight for like three seconds and then it's. And then they're done. Yep, they're done. Remy, there's a fish. Little guy. We'll take him though. Probably already on. It looks like he's on. Let's go. He was on there for like yep. a million years. Hold on, honey. Honey, you got fish. Go for the dive. Steve's on the board. Non stop. Very nice. Very nice. Right, you guys, check it out. This is the fish we're catching. You guys saw Samong catch a few of these already. And I just got one myself. We call these pea mouth. 
that's what they're called here. People commonly confuse these with pike minnow. It's not a pike minnow. You can tell by the way their mouth looks and they just look a little different, but these guys are delicious, but there is a secret recipe to cook them, to make them delicious, and we're gonna share that with you guys later. For now, to do the recipe, we need to catch about 10 more of these guys. to go through all that stretch before you can uh, feel the bite. Pair that with a stiff rod and your sensitivity is just not there. These hooked up though. This one's a little better. Yeah. The ones we've been catching, these ones are way nicer than our first ones. Oh yeah. Take that all day. I'm using like the smallest and most beat up piece of worm and they're still hitting it. None of them are blocking the sun, right? Got him. Nice. Got him. Feels like a good one. Nicely done, set. Fatty. That's nice. a fat one right there. That's a good pea mouth. Good pea mouth. It's a good eater. We've probably only been out here for like 30, 40 minutes. It feels like I've been out here for all day. That's how cooked I am. I must say, you guys, we're just getting absolutely roasted out here. It is very hot out here, especially out in this desert canyon. The sun's just beating the crap out of us. We got plenty of fish for a little recipe we want to do tonight. I think we're going to head back towards where we're going to camp right now. We just want to get out of the sun. There's literally no shade out here. Another thing I want to talk about you guys, these speed mouth, they're so plentiful here in the Snake River. They're pretty much anywhere along the Snake River as far as I know. And it's a great way to get introduced to fishing. Maybe you're somebody newer, you just a lot of action, it's very fast kind of fishing. Maybe you have little kids you want to take out. You guys have the setup, it's super easy. Long story short, just put a warm on there and cast it out, you're probably going to get a bite. Just use small hooks, that's yeah. the ticket. It's a, it's a very fun form of fishing, it's very fast, it's definitely full of action. You're getting bit, you don't have to wait for hours. It's kind of fun. All right, you guys. Well, I know I already said it, but I'm gonna repeat myself. It is absolutely roasting out here. So, you guys, it's actually the week after Mother's Day weekend right now. Typically, earlier here in the year, it's not quite as hot on the Snake River, but this year, holy crap. But maybe we should stop complaining and enjoy the summer. Part of the reason I think, you guys, is because we just got over winter. So there's a period in the fall when we start fall fishing, fall hunting, winter camping, where it takes your body a while to acclimate to cold weather. Now, usually, coming back to summer, this first hot summer day, I feel like it takes me a couple weeks to acclimate to hot weather again. But another hour or two, it's going to be beautiful out here. It's going to be just right. Right now we're just going to hide in the shade for a little bit, rehydrate a bit, start setting up camp probably. Look at that little bastard right there you guys. Well, you guys, welcome to the Pacific Northwest, where it's cold and hot one minute, and then now we got an absolute downpour out here, which is actually quite welcome right now because it was really hot out here. So we're hoping this will help the area cool off a little bit. It's kind of cool being out here doing a pouring rain. We're staying underneath a little cover. 
just the weather out here is crazy. So basically what we're going to do, as you guys can tell, I'm just going to fillet these fish. It gives us this nice little pinstrap of meat. I'm going to take them off the skin here in a second. I basically spurred you guys the time and I repeated the process about 10 more times and I got all the Pimoth filleted. And I got a pile of nice little beautiful fillets you guys can see right over here. And one of the reasons people don't like to eat pima, they actually taste quite delicious, is because they have a lot of what we call pin bones. Basically little tiny bones that aren't just the rib bones that you typically see in a fish, but they have these little pin bones that are practical little bones all over and when you try to eat them they basically get in your teeth and just a pain in the butt. Now to avoid that what I like to do is what I call fish patties. You basically make a fish patty. Now to do that if I was at home I would typically use a meat grinder. If you guys have a meat grinder put these fillets to the meat grinder it takes no time. I like to mix it with an egg and some breadcrumbs basically. So what I'm going to do now since I have a meat grinder right here is I'm just going to get a cutting board and I'm just going to chop that meat really small kind of like a meat grinder would. After that, we're going to add other ingredients and form fish patties, and then we're going to fry them up. It is absolutely delicious. I'll show you in a second. All right, you guys, definitely cooled off a bit now. It's actually quite pleasurable to be outside at this point now that the sun's gone. As you guys can tell, it's obviously dark out and we're getting quite hungry. Let's make those fish patties I talked about earlier. Can you give the dog some food if she wants it? Hey, buddy. Hey, bro. He knows the better stuff. Uh-huh. He knows what's coming. Yeah. Bro, I don't want this. That's right, guys. I got this piece of fillet right here. So the pin bones actually run right along in here. You can feel them if you're on your finger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop it like this really small. And I'm going to basically chop it this way. Kind of like a meat grinder would, but I'm going to do it all by hand. If you guys start cutting, I'm going to get real quiet here. You guys can actually hear me cut through those pin bones, that's what I'm doing. So we're basically turning this to ground fish by hand. And I gotta do it to all these fillets, which is gonna take me a minute, but that's what you gotta do sometimes. Right, you guys can kind of see the consistency we did there. 
you basically like the consistency of a really coarse grinder. I mean, I'd go finer on my grinder, honestly. So at this point, you guys can see all the pin bones have been basically caught. So now we can make patties out of this. It's going to be a little difficult to make patties out of this bigger chunks, but I think we'll manage. So for seasonings, you guys, we're going to do garlic salt, basically. Garlic pepper, and we're going to add some an egg to this and some breadcrumbs to basically give it to the point where you can form it. Ooh, we almost went three eggs. These are just breadcrumbs, you guys. That's gonna it's good for now. We can always add some more later. And now my least favorite part. You gotta get in there and just mix all this stuff up. You guys are gonna do this in the woods like we're doing. Make sure you bring lots of water or napkins or something, because you're gonna get dirty. We're going to make the patties. So it really helps if you're at home and you have a sink because if you can make your hand wet. I don't have that commodity out here. So I'm just going to do the best I can. So you don't want to make them too big because you want them to fry obviously. Especially out here we're going to have a lid. So this is probably be the biggest that would go right here. But you guys can see they're staying together now. These are going to work out beautifully. You also don't want them too small because then they're basically just going to be dry. Right. Whoa. Wow. I didn't know it did that. <laughs> did you know I did that? No. Oh. That was, that was just as surprised as you were. <laughs> all of it. I still have another bottle. Yeah. Yeah. Right, you guys, check it out. Freshly caught pea mouth burger patties. These are gonna be bomb. First, we gotta make some mashed potatoes for them, though. Mm, do we add enough water? You think so? I said, do we? This is how we do the dishes, you guys. <laughs> Let's go. Gotta get some of that tartar sauce on there. Another thing we forgot, which would have been awesome, is some lemon. But. Well, all right, you guys, what a day. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Hope you guys did as well. See you guys in the morning. Good night. What are you doing, buddy?
morning everybody what an absolutely gorgeous morning out here you guys the water is just perfectly still there's absolutely no wind out it's just a perfect temperature outside we woke up to a beautiful view can't ask for anything better You guys go hard to be a good old scrambled with homemade bacon but yeah pike meal is it i'm sure peeing off the work it's just that you know when one thing works it's hard for you to like yeah go away from it beautiful morning guys can't complain you guys what a great adventure this was at this point we ate breakfast camps all packed up trucks loaded up behind us at this point we're gonna go back to town as always I'd like to thank every single one of you for joining us today and watching this video hope you guys get outside and get to enjoy the outdoors for yourselves as well and I will see you in the next adventure bye